Hey mamas, it's Joanne with Just Joanne um, doing a New Year's Eve video. Um, so excited it's New Year's Eve 2012 is over and done with and bring in 2013. I know 13 is an unlucky number, but I'm all about New Year's and starting fresh. So for my video tonight, I am doing um, a tag that I saw on Mac Barbie 07, aka Bethany. She was, she's also one of the Ipsy girls, if you know that um, Ipsy slash My Glam. She's one of them too. Um, she posted a best of 2012 tag, and I figured it's it's all beauty, fashion, and random stuff. So I figured I would do that tag. So to start with the beauty, my best of 2012 face product is. My holy grail, and I'm sure if you watch my channel and if you've seen um, any tutorials that I've done for this channel, I use this all the time. It's the Garnier Nutritionist Skin Renewal and Anti-Dark Circle Corrector. I use this on the regular every day, 365. Okay, my favorite cheek product, and I only got this a couple of months ago, but I've been going to this a lot for the fall. It's the um, it's MAC. MAC Blush in Love Rush, which is a really pretty um, cranberry color. Okay, and my best 2012 eye product is actually a palette, and it is the Naked 2 palette. Now, if you guys know, everybody, everybody raves about this. I know that there was like a month straight where I used nothing but this palette upside down. I used nothing but, uh, but this palette. I love it. It's great for traveling. It's great for whatever. I have so many palettes, I would go back to this one every time. Okay, the second one, or not the second one, the fourth is um, Best of 2012 Lip Product, and it is my um, Stila Lip Glaze in Guava. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's very sheer, a nice pinky nude color. This is my absolute favorite. It is a little sticky, but I love it. Okay, um, my favorite skincare product, and I've been using this for probably four months now, maybe more. Um, it's the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Um, I, my dermatologist had recommended this, and I've been using it every day, twice a day for the past, gosh, it's got to be, I think I went over the summer. <clears throat> so I would say probably August until now, so that's about four months. I love this. It's similar to Cetaphil, the Cetaphil wash, but not, I, I like this one better. I'm not sure why, I just do. Um, my favorite nail polish um, is any red. Um, usually I get polish on my toes because I have um, the OPI gel, um, but my favorite red is I'm not really a waitress by OPI. And my... Um, hair, which I'm actually using today. I have them all lined up next to me, so sorry. Um, my favorite hair product is um, the Got To Be Kinkier Double Curling Powder Power Gloss and Define Curling Mousse. And I have been using this every day for the past two weeks, um, actually since before Christmas, because I just don't feel like dry, blow drying my hair and flat ironing it and making sure everything is straight and I have no flyaways, blah, blah, blah. So I've been using this with the um, spray gel and a diffuser and I just pop called bobby pins up at the top and here we go. And it looks perfect. Um, the last for beauty is my favorite perfume and it is um, the original Stella by Stella McCartney. Um, I actually have this in the full size bottle and a roller ball so I pop it in my purse and I just, if I need a refresher, just roll it wherever. But um, this is like... Mm, one of my favorites. It's more for going out. Like I wouldn't wear this to work because it's a, um, it's a um, an even. I don't know. I have this thing that's like an evening going out scent, and this is my going out scent. I wear this every time I go out. So um, now on to fashion. Um, f best of 2012 clothing. Um, I am addicted to black shirts. I don't know why I have black shirts in every stop. I have a button-down black shirt. I have black sweaters. I have black t-shirts. I have anything with black accents. Like, for example, this, um, it's actually black and white striped sweater that I got from Old Navy. I love this sweater. It's one of my favorites. I have another black and white striped sweater with a little flower rosette right here. Um, here is another black sweater um, that I got from Express. And as you can see, 
hi there's a hole in the back it's an open back so I don't wear it without the open back without anything underneath it because hi I have big boobs and there's no way that these girls are not going out supported um, but I wear a black tank top underneath um, my favorite accessory for 2012 is hoops I wear them year-round um, they were in one of my my on my channel my favorites um, over the summer, I think it was the summer sun tag or summer best of summer tag, something like that. And then my favorite pair of shoes, um, if I'm not at work, I wear pumps at work or boots, um, heeled boots. But other than that, gotta go with the Uggs. I love these Uggs. I have a pair of brown ones that are really beat up, so I won't put them on here because they're embarrassing. And I also have a pair of Ugg mules, but these are the most comfortable. I got them last year for my birthday, and I love them. Okay, so the random, here comes the random. The random, I'm going to show a picture of the book that I'm reading because it looks the same as the show, but um, my favorite TV show of um, 2012 so far, um, gosh, let me go to the cover. Okay. I think I just screwed up my spot. Oh. Okay. The um the Vampire Diaries. That is my favorite um TV show so far. Um my um the favorite book is it's got to be obvious if any of you know anything about books and if you've been hearing the buzz about these books, which is oh gosh, now I have to go all the way to the page. Um, one is the actually three books, Fifty Shades trilogy. Hello, if you haven't read it, you have to read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. Okay, my favorite food. Um, I know this sounds like really boring, but I'm really good at grilling, and my go-to grilling item is chicken, and I make grilled chicken in like five or six different ways and I just love it. I will grill year round. Even if there's snow on the ground right now, I would go, like there is right now in New Jersey where I'm from, not a lot, but there's a little and it's really cold, but I would still be out there grilling if my grill had gas. Um, my favorite beverage, and I have it next to me because I'm filming on my bed, um, coffee. Right now this is a, um, what is this? It's not that good. I'm really disappointed in the barista today at Starbucks because it really isn't that good, but I need it. If I'm going to make it to midnight, I'm going to need it. This is the salted caramel mocha with an extra shot. <laughs> and I'm going to take a sip now. Eh. And then finally, my favorite song. Um, this really, um, this came out, I believe, in the summer when Katy Perry re-released her, um, her album, I forget the name of it, I'm sorry, I'll put it, I'll flash it on the screen, um, but she re-released her last album with bonus songs, and one of the bonus songs is Part of Me. I don't know if you could see it, I don't know if it's going to come really clear, but that's the, um, the song, Katy Perry, Part of Me. I've been through a lot in the past few years, um, I'm not going to get into all that because it'll get me all emotional and whatever. Um, but this song really, really hit home, and like, every time, if I'm in my car by myself, because I won't blast the music with Juliana in the back seat, but every time I'm in the car and that song comes on, I blast it and I just belt it out, completely belt it out. Um, it actually was just in the car. I was It was playing on the car when I came home, which is about like 10, 15 minutes ago, so if you can hear it, I'm a little hoarse. Um, <clears throat> because I was really belting it. So, um, that is my, um, best of 2012 tag that I saw from Mac Barbie, and I will link her, um, her video down below, and I tag all of you to do it. I'd love to see your responses, your best of 2012. I'll put all the, um, <clears throat> the questions will not really questions, but categories down below in the info bar. And thanks for watching. Please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Bye. Happy New Year!